Hello guys, my name is Matthew and in today's video I'll show you side by side comparison of HyperX Pulsefire Search versus Razer Dead Aider vs 2. This is just an information video about the specs of this product and if you want to know the actual prices check links in the description down below. The Dead Adder version 2 is a better gaming mouse than the HyperX Pulsefire Search. The Razer has a significantly lighter weight, a more flex flexible cable and a smoother gliding feed. Also, you can set a hyper shift button to give you a second layer of controls. It has much lower click latency, a wider CPI range, and its sensor is slightly more consistent. The Razer has a right handed design uh, that is best suited for a palm grip for any hand size. On the other hand, the HyperX is ambidextrous shaped, uh, best suited for a claw grip or any hand size. That being said, I would really say uh, I would really say that Razer is a winner in this competition between those two. It wins in FPS gaming for sure, and also if you are looking for time to time to play MMO games, it's a really really better option than than HyperX because it's ergonomic design that you can really rest your hand during the longer MMO gaming sessions. It's lighter, so it's more suited for ultralight gaming, but for travel, both of them are not the greatest option since they are not wireless. When you go into volume and uh, weight comparisons, uh, Razer is bigger one for bigger hand types, but it feels really, really good to play with it. It has 83 grams, which is still less than smaller 106 grams HyperX. The design is very, very cool, very nice, and it suits right hand use only. Both of them uh, fits all hand types. All Both of them got braided cables, which is really, really nice. You get only the mouse in your in the box. To the sensors, HyperX is using PixArt, starting at 200 CPI, maxing 16K, and adjusting every every 50 CPI. Razer Dead Adder using Focus Plus, starting at 100 CPI, maxing 20K, and also adjusting every 50 CPI. HyperX has six mechanical buttons and Razer has eight optical and mechanical buttons. Both of them got only notched wheel with 24 steps and the click latency is the big game changer here because that adder has 7ms which is great, really, really nice. And HyperX got 20ms which is not really the greatest one. Both of the softwares that those uh, mouses are using uh, really, uh, really are best or they work best at Windows and they are only partially compatible with Windows. In my opinion, Razer all the way. If you have something else to say or another opinion about, about these two, leave us a comment in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching and see you on the next video.